The live deck wirelessly connects to the aircraft and provides up to 1080p 60fps aerial live video. Turn on the remote controller, aircraft, and live deck. Press the aircraft pairing button. The green indicator light will flash quickly. Next, press and hold the live deck pair button until the green indicator light flashes quickly. The indicator light will change from flashing quickly to flashing slowly when the live deck and aircraft pairing is complete. With the aircraft on and paired to live deck, connect live deck and display device with HDMI cable. Select the appropriate HDMI input on display device and the live drone video will be displayed. Connect Live Deck to a mobile device with USB cable, then open Autel Explorer app and select Smart Photography to display the live video feed. Connecting Live Deck and a computer with network cable for Mac OS. First, set the static IP address and the gateway. Next, open a video player which supports RTSP network video streaming, such as VLC. The recommended cache setting is 30 milliseconds. And enter the RTSP stream address, and the live video feed will be displayed. Windows system also uses the same IP, gateway, video stream settings. Broadcast for an external time by plugging into an outlet or an aircraft battery through the charger. Thank you for watching. When prompted by Autel Explorer app, we recommend that you perform an obstacle avoidance visual sensor calibration. Remove the propellers before the calibration. Power on the aircraft. Use a USB-C cable to connect the aircraft to your computer. Open the Autel OA calibration tool you will only need to calibrate the sensors marked with a red X. Select an indicated sensor. In this example, we select the front view sensor. Follow the tips and orientation instructions in the upper left corner while performing the calibration. Move the aircraft closer or further from the screen to align the red brackets with the green brackets. Slowly rotate the aircraft around its center point, moving the red circle to follow the green circle while making sure the red center square stays within the green bracket. After the matching is completed, the tool will calculate the calibration result. The check mark indicates the calibration is successful. Other sensor calibrations follow the same operation steps. You may find it necessary to fold some or all of the arms, depending on your computer and screen configuration in order to properly orient the aircraft to successfully calibrate the sensors. Before calibrating the left view and right view sensors, please fold the rear arm on that side. After calibration, please unplug the data cable and restart the aircraft. Thank you for watching.